Hey everybody, how's it going guys? This is Dark Dog speaking, and I hope everyone had a good 4th of July weekend. Cause I did not, all I did was play games, um, I guess that's what my life is, I guess after work. So, um, I know a lot of subscribers have um, be e been emailing me and asking me to uh, show them a video for the Jets or Chopper uh, with Eagle Eye to see how it is. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I've never ever in a jet or a chopper even with the dual shock controller also because I'm more of like a ground guy instead of fighting on in the sky so uh, this is my first time so what I actually did is um, I had a different key mapping because I went online and actually started reading on how to control the jets or the choppers and um, trying to find uh, try to configure um, Eagle Eye um, to use the key mapping which would be easier for me um, to use in the battlefield so um, actually what I did is um, I had to map my WNS key for throttle and deacceleration and um, so Eagle Eye comes with like two key mappings um, you can either use uh, key mapping 1 or key map 2 at the same time I mean um, you know you can switch around in the game between the games so my key map 2 has a different key mapping just for the tanks or Humvees and um, you can see the settings at the end of the video so um, you know, over here you can see I can fly the jet fine. Um, I had to raise my mouse sensitivity to at least 2300. Um, if you have a large deck G500, so you should be able to do that um, in the game itself. Um, yeah, it, I, I don't know whether I was doing good or not, but I know I wasn't able to. I wasn't aiming correctly when I was reaching to the objective because um, I really don't know how to fly a jet, but I was able to do that. Um, a lot of people have issues um, in riding the jet, so what they do is they actually hook up their dual shock controller as soon as they run a jet or a chopper and actually use it so uh, yeah there were some um, issues like you know kind of doing like 360 tie which you can what I've seen in a lot of videos which I was not able to do that maybe it's just me but um, I would appreciate if someone can try these settings and um, can actually tell me um, you know if it if you can actually ride a jet uh, with the keyboard and mouse or with eagle eye see if it works for you um, if you're a good guy who can if you know how to ride a jet or a chopper anyway so, so yeah over here actually I just got stuck I can't even move my mouse to the left or anything like that it's just stuck over here so I don't know if that's a game issue or what but um, you know I crashed cause I couldn't move at all <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the, how to ride a chopper and trust me this was I guess the most hard, hard, hardest part for me to ride a chopper um, with Eagle Eye. Uh, maybe it's just me or what, but hey, I was able to ride in it. I was able to you know, go close to the objective. Um, even though I can do jack shit in it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I have a lot of trouble, uh, I guess, pointing my gun close to the objective, like, or maybe taking the chopper down, like I've seen in a lot of other Battlefield videos. They just stay over there, and I don't know how to deaccelerate or stuff like that. Maybe I, you know, I'm not a good chopper. Guy. Boom. Yep, that's what happens when you don't know how to drive. Or drive. <laughs> so, um, you know, it kind of sucks with chopper, I guess. Cause, like I said, um, I don't know anything about these chopper or jets, but just want to give a shot to see how I do. And here's a Humvee. You know, Humvee is Humvee and tanks are really good with this key mapping configuration. What I have, really easy to drive, no problem at all. Um, you know, I don't have any issues. Like, you can just drive as much as you can. And, uh, the mouse movement is pretty really sharp, also, no problem at all. And um, you know, just go to the close to the objective and um, trying to. I have a guy, I guess, uh, has a better or someone else. Uh, bastard left me alone. But I was just messing around and I'm close to the whole objective to see if I can find some enemies. Um, eventually, I did not, so I just do some circles around the objectives. But, um, but it works pretty good. Um, I don't have to like always be on the ground or waiting for someone else to uh, you know, ride in the Jeep so I can just you know, jump in his car and actually ride to the objective with him. Um, that kind of sucks with Eagle Eye, what I've seen in like Operation Fire Snowball, some other Caspian border maps, which requires you to, you know, go in. A, I mean, use like tanks and vehicles. So now you see that 
I changed my key mapping to key map 1 where I have everything set up for like on the foot so my WSAD keys are back to like forward and backwards for running instead of like acceleration. Um, it was pretty much mapped to R1 and R2 previously. So um, it's pretty simple, I mean I use my ASUS monitor and I guess it's just like a PC setup so I have everything close by to me so I can just with one hand I can just you know, within like maybe second or two I can just change it back to key map one whatever I needed to so um, this is the I guess the tank as everyone likes to ride in the tank and um, it's pretty dead simple riding in the tank um, you know that's one of the uh, I think uh, the greatest strength of uh, eagle eye for me with this key mapping what I have like all my buttons mapped here is tanks and humvees are really simple even the jets are really simple to drive you know I just cannot I just don't know what maneuvers to do with the jet so uh, you know, I'm hoping that I can get some feedback from you guys whoever is whoever are my subscribers and have eagle eye with them um, you know but um, tank was great man um, you know I was able to park the tank close to the objective with no problem at all um, I actually killed somebody with the tank also eventually I got dead at the same time so um, the movement no problem at all you know um, I have my G key I guess map to you know whether you can be throwing like rockets in the tank or just like you know firing so it was, it was pretty easy for me to just um, you know press that key and then use whatever I want to so um, you know it's no problem at all so I guess um, I'll let you guys um, you know see the key mapping of this gameplay and um, try it out and let me know how it is and um, one more thing I would like to say to you guys is um, I've been trying to find some different ideas to do some more videos and um, I've got a lot of feedback from some of the subscribers like they want me to do some commentary or some you know, use different kind of weapons um, in the game. Um, I've done a lot of content so uh, I'm trying to get away from it and do something different. Maybe full gameplay so I can try it. My problem is that I don't play one game like you know for a freaking month or so. Uh, usually switch around with different games whatever I feel like playing so uh, you know if you guys want me to make a gameplay or any kind of video or something you know I can do that uh, just make sure you send me a private message or post it on the comments if you want to and um, yeah dude um, if you guys you know, think like I helped you out by making this video so snap that like button and um, let me know what your thoughts are on this key mapping and do provide me the feedback on if you ever if you plan to use this key mapping which you'll see at the end of the video um, to see if you like it or not. Okay guys um thank you so much and y'all have a great weekend. See ya.